What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pimping Pixels, the only design show that will teach you the tips, tricks, and techniques you need to become a pro. I'm your host Gregory Thiele, an Adobe Certified Expert, and today what we're going to do is show you guys how to select hair inside of Photoshop. So why don't we just jump right in there and select some hair, and I'll bring a pair of pears, and I'll try not to swear. Do you guys like the shirts that I wear? So we have this image of a woman and what we want to do is change the background that she's on. Or maybe we just want to select her and put her on a completely different image altogether. But the problem with this is all of these loose strands of hair that she has inside of this image. Now one option is to just ignore these strands. We could erase them away. It takes a little time, but erase them away. Give her a shorter haircut and maybe we could just add a helmet. There we go. She's looking beautiful right now. See? Don't even have to worry about those strands of hair. Now since we want her to look exactly the same, but just change the background image, I'll show you guys how to easily select all those little strands of hair. So we're going to start off by duplicating the layer. This could be done by clicking on your layer and then dragging it down to the new layer icon. Or even easier than that, you can just select the layer that you want to duplicate and press Command J on Mac or Control J on Windows and you'll automatically have the copy of your layer. Now you guys don't actually have to do this step, but it's always helpful having a backup of your original image just in case things go terribly wrong while you're making adjustments. Now to separate our model from the background, we have to first select her. So let's go grab our quick selection wand from our toolbar and just start dragging all over her so that we can get a nice rough selection. Now don't worry if the quick selection tool isn't grabbing all those strands of hair yet. We'll get to that in a minute. So now that we have her selected, I see that some of the background is actually in the selection as well. And we can just fix that easily by holding down the Alt button and then clicking in the background to subtract it from the selection. You can even see a little minus sign in the selection tool as you hold down Alt, and this just gives you a heads up that you'll be subtracting from your selection. So now that we have this rough selection, let me show you how we would select those individual strands of hair. So we're going to start off by clicking on the Refine Edge button, and you'll see this button along the top if you're using any selection tool, such as the Quick Selection tool, Marquee tool, or even the Magic Wand tool. However, if you don't see this button here, it's more than likely because you have another tool selected, and if that's the case, then you could just go to the top menu, click on Select, Refine Edge, and you could pull it up that way. With the Refine Edge box open, we can play around with a bunch of different settings to modify our selection. For this example, however, we don't need to mess around with anything like feather or contrast. All we need to do is make sure that this little brush icon on the side is selected. What this lets us do is brush onto our image and it will pull out those extra missing details while ignoring the background entirely. I'm just going to drag around the edges of the hair to grab all those missing parts. And then I could even brush further out to grab those loose strands and you can see instantly that it's selecting those strands and not the background. Now after you hit OK, what you're going to see is your selection on top of your original image. Now I'm going to show you guys how to easily use that selection as a mask and hide your background. So the easiest and safest way is to simply click on the Add Layer Mask button, and you can find this button at the bottom of your Layers panel, and this will hide anything that is not part of your selection. Now you can see that we have the background removed, so we could just place anything underneath our model layer and it will be used as a background. So once you've gotten this far, the edges of the hair might not look so great on your background. One quick fix for this is to add an inner glow. So what you're going to do is just right click on the layer and then click blending options. From here, select inner glow. And now once you're inside of here, what you want to do is use the color picker and choose a color that's from her hair so that it matches up well. And then you're going to select either darken or multiply if the strands on the background were too light. However, if the strands are too dark on your background, then you could choose either lighten or screen to get it looking just right. Now make sure you guys don't forget to play around with your opacity setting. This will allow you to fine tune the amount of the inner glow so you get it looking just right. And once you're ready, hit OK. And that's all there is to it. Now you guys know how to select hair perfectly and refine it so that it matches your background. 
Now sadly, that's all the time that we have for today's episode, but why don't you guys go open up Photoshop, start selecting hair like a pro, and keep on pipping them pixels.